I don't think that, I hope I'm not, not so naive that I'm getting some answer that really didn't satisfy or answer my question. So if Google is honing it, and I'm not coming from a, a naive place, then I'm getting the answer I want. You know? And I mean, I understand that you go bad and Google, Google can do evil, but um, I don't know, net neutrality? That's different though, you know? Steering, steering people to particular sites based on relationships and people with money and stuff like that. I, I understand, and I think libraries do understand that being a problem, but as long as I'm crafting a, a, a proper search, I don't know. I mean, well, this gets, I, Deb, I know you've been up here, but let me just jump in one second. And I don't want to beat the horse into rigor here, but who really <laughs> expected that the internet would be unbiased? Because kind of our whole argument here is, oh, the, you know, the <laughs> it's all the See, I know. Yeah, I don't. It, it, Me? <laughs> 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 by profit, again, back to the profit thing. I mean, it's not some entity out there who does all this work for free. And that's where, you know, when, as soon as you put money and profit and margins in there, you're going to get biased. So I, it gets back to the husband, and I'm not maligning my husband, but that whole mentality of you've got to take your information from a variety of sources. And I think to some degree, and I may get arrows in my back, We've got a little lazy about this. Oh, I can just Google it and get the comprehensive yeah. info. Yeah. And we're not, because what Sing you're it, saying is, is I'm <laughs> saying, <laughs> but, um, but kind of what you're saying, you're not from a naive standpoint, yeah. right? And so. And that's one thing. I mean, there's people that are looking for information. And, and, I mean, we all need to be able to evaluate that information. Is it, is it deep? Is it broad? Is it neutral? I mean, those are all the right. things you have to do as a. You know, you just can't expect, oh, it's the first hit on Google is going to answer all my questions, and this is correct. And you need to look at the particular resources, and you need to do the calculus in your head on where it's coming from. I mean, if you're blind and just, oh, this is what I want, you know, I, I think there's some thinking that, that we have to do ourselves when we get these results. Well, I, and that brings me to my question. I have two. One is, so if I look at all the commenters in general on M Live. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to know that their that their results are being filtered, are they intelligent enough to look at those results? Do we think that M Live commenters are intelligent news? enough to understand? Tetris questions. Wow. With any, someone who is getting you know, reading the magazine or or anything, is it a level of awareness? Yeah. But in general, so what are schools doing to teach people that they can't believe everything they read and they can't believe everything yeah, right. they see, number one. And number two, in a public setting like a library, so whose results exactly are they filtering? Well, that's really good are they filtering the last 30 yeah. people who use that computer? Yes. Right. And the cookies? Exactly. And so therefore, maybe in a, in a library, you're going to get better, more well-rounded Google results than on my own personal computer. Go libraries. Go libraries. <laughs> 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 There's a marketing pitch right there. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so the three of us are here. That's kind of interesting. What, I, want, I want to take one comment back from what Rob was talking about, of uh, buying like the last 30 books for your, your mother. That's 100% the reason that that checkbox of this is a gift is there on Amazon. Uh -huh. It's not necessarily uh -huh. there because, oh, we're going to give you a gift receipt. It's 100% so they cannot, they can take that kind of content out of what they're filtering for you. Okay. So there's a little box as you're checking out. It's like, hey, I'm buying this as a gift. Really? And that's why, they, I mean, that, it's not a nice thing. It's purely for, 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 for that element. Yeah, because it gives back, So adding some empiricism, just when we have a, just the, the discussion was going on with uh, what people know and what they don't know. They, there was just some research done on young people and how they use uh, how they use Google. And the problem is, what, what we're discovering is that they know how to use the technology tools, but they have almost no ability to be critical of the information that's in front yes. of them. So they did a study where they had a bunch of like high school students uh, search for something. They gave them something to look for. They had them use Google. They searched for it, and they know that, oh, the first few results are probably the best, so they click on those. Well, when they replaced those results with bogus results that weren't leading to, which you would know from reading the description, they still clicked on those. Yeah. So they're trained like a rat hitting a pellet for a, a, yeah. you know, hitting a for a pellet <laughs> to use those things, and that's, and that's part of the problem. So what we have is, in this room, say this is probably the top 20, you know, assuming college education, probably the top 27% of the population 
So there's a huge un, you know, uh, group of people that we can't, that, uh, unfortunately, you know, they're the kind of people that have notes with their address pinned to their shirt, you know, so they can get home. Um, <laughs> do we let them, do we let them fall prey to their own lack of knowledge? Because this definitely isn't being taught in schools, unfortunately. I, I, I work at GRCC. I know, for, you know, it's not, a, it's not in the K-12 system, and it's, it's not in the, the most college programs either, because critical, I mean, there's a few critical thought classes, but there's nobody sort of teaching people. And, and anyway, so I'll. It does get back to that about critical thinking. I mean, when I talk to young people now about going into school, and what the value is of higher ed, I always say, it opens doors. I mean, I can cite example after example of people who didn't have the degree who had doors slammed in their face. But typically, if it's a good institution, it teaches you critical thinking. And that is sorely lacking in our information society right now, where, oh, it just pops up and I'll take it verbatim. But I just pose the question to all of us, is it not concerning that I would tell a computer monitor some for-profit making entity way more about myself than I would tell like Daniel, who I've met numerous times who lives right in my own community. I mean, and that's where it's going. And so to me, and I'll get off the chair and I'll never come back, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> is that it's that it's that whole thing of the naivete that he was talking about and, and just come on, do we really expect it? And I do want to hear from you about the internet being unbiased when there's for profit entities behind it. Yeah. Okay. Well well I, I got up here because of the comment that you earlier, which is exactly what Derek was just addressing. I think we have this we have this problem with not only do we have shortening attention spans, and I just heard a statistic the other day that 80 or 100 years ago, the average person's attention span for reading a magazine or a newspaper was about 20 minutes, and now it's like six or eight seconds, right? Yeah. And we've become conditioned to, you know, like information that comes to us in small satellites. And I think kids who are growing up now in the information age have a much different um, I mean, they're very uh, scattered in the way that they look at information, and it's a lot harder to get people to read a full article and click on the link and actually digest the content in an, in an intelligent way, right, to, to make their own conclusions about right. it. Um, but you also made a great point about Facebook. You weren't talking specifically about Facebook, but I'll extrapolate Facebook. That <laughs> we, 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 I, I, <laughs> every day, <laughs> Jennifer. Yes, um, we, we, we put all this information out that information and kind of to my earlier point, you know, we use these services that we consider to be free because we're not paying any money for them. But we're also, um, you know, people, it cracks me up when people complain about Facebook on Facebook, right? <laughs> 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 they complain about the privacy settings, <laughs> when all their stuff is public, they complain about the new interface, on the new interface. And I mean, we, we have this sort of addiction to all the tools and we're, we're quick to throw the tools under the bus. But what about our use of the tools yeah, and our responsibility? Yeah, exactly. Following on your I keep trying to lead, but everybody's coming <laughs> um, The reason I jumped up here, when uh, who was it that mentioned uh, on Amazon there's the gift button? Mac. Mac. So I'm wondering, will you use the gift button now? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because, because there, there's, you know, we, we've touched a little bit on the sense of complacency that this is going on, yet we're all still using Google. Mm -hmm. So my question, if, you know, we will use the Git button, I, I will probably use the Git button now because I get annoyed when there's, you know, the wrong artist being advertised to me when I bought it from my mom. Um, we, where do, how do, how can we go to the next step away, away from this? I mean, who owns all of this? We can take it to a free market angle that says, "Oh, we'll use Bing. We'll use use uh, Alta." I can't remember the other one. Powered by Google. Not too bad. Google bottom. So, it, it, for it to not be an easy free market answer, then, then what is the answer? Is there control? Who who owns all this this thing that we all use? And oh, let's get the government involved. I'm just well, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for the record, that was not a sign. Wow. About Everyone's scared. 